This is a guide on getting PlayStation 2 emulation up and running on your Android device. Today I'm using the Ion Odin Pro, but this will work on any Android device given that your device is powerful enough. Before we get started, I just want to preface by saying that I am not an expert in this by any means. I'm just kind of learning as I go along. But that being said, I'm more than happy to answer any questions you might have to the best of my ability. If you leave them down in the comments below. So the first thing you're going to need to do is download your BIOS. Um, I would recommend downloading it in its own dedicated BIOS file. This is the one that um, I found to be the most popular, scph dot. B -I -N, and if you Google that, you can um, find a place to download it, either the Japanese version or the US version. Once you have that, you're going to need to download your ROMs. Um, I found that a lot of ROMs are downloaded in the .7z file format, um, which the emulator is not going to read. It needs un you need to unzip it. So the uh, app that I have been using for my Android devices that seems to be working the best is called Z Archiver. So you download that on the Play Store. And then uh, once you have your .7z file downloaded, you're just going to go ahead and uh, select it. And then you can do open with and click to click uh, Z archiver and it will unzip it for you. And then you can uh, decide where you want Z archiver to extract those files to. Um, for myself, I just had it extract the files uh, into the same location in my PS2 file. So there it is in the .iso, and that's what the uh, emulator is going to be able to read. The next thing we need is the emulator itself. So you go to the Google Play Store and search Ether SX2, and it's this first option right here. You're going to click it and install it onto your device. Once it's installed, it's going to take you through its setup guide. You just go through the steps. It's got uh, lots of things for you to read, uh, requirements for your system, uh, the BIOS. I would recommend reading through this to get yourself familiarized. We're just going to click next. Um, you can pick how you want everything to run. Um, I'm just going to leave everything as it is for now. And then you need to import your bio, so click the plus, and then you're going to navigate to where you have that downloaded. Um, mine is in Retro Games, my PS2, PS2 BIOS, and there it is. Then we're going to go to next. Game directories, and this is where you're going to navigate to the games itself. So you can um, allow access to this whole folder. So theoretically, if I've had several games in here um, in my PS2 folder, I can just allow access to the whole folder and it would access the, more than the one game. But We'll just allow that, and next, and then finish the setup. So I had a little trouble there getting it to read the file from the native Android Files app, but once I downloaded File Manager off the Google Play Store, um, I read it just fine. So there it is, re Resident Evil 4. We can click it, and hopefully get it started up. Okay, so we are all set. We got the on 
screen buttons mapped to our controller. And here we go. Let's test it out. Alright, here we are in all the gameplay. The button mapping. Still trying to figure everything out. But looks pretty good. Um, one thing I want to kind of tweak is the screen ratio and see if I can get it to fill the whole screen. But that's going to be it for this video. If you have any questions, I'll do my best to answer them. Just leave them in the comments down below. And if there's anything else that you want to see a tutorial on, uh, also leave that in the comments. Thanks for watching.